My name is Mike Jones and I'm a screen reader analyst at the Digital Accessibility Centre in Neath, South Wales. Today I'll be demonstrating four of the main issues that I would commonly come across, both personally and professionally, uh, using JAWS 16 and Internet Explorer 11, and in this case the Mr. Porter website. Firstly, I'll demonstrate unlabeled form fields. Select the form field dialog. List 1, list view. Unlabeled 1, edit search. 1 of 4. Unlabeled 3, button. So there you heard two separate form elements, unlabeled edit field and unlabeled free button. The issue with unlabeled form fields is that a screen reader user is unable to understand what either accessing the button will achieve or what needs to be entered into the fields, which can be particularly problematic uh, in relation to forms for such things as applications. All form elements must be given a fully descriptive and specific label to ensure that the user is able and aware of what they need to enter. Escape. Uh, next is the heading structure. Heading list dot in the saddle colon the bike ride through Majorca's majestic mountains colon three. How to colon get a six dash pack and six steps with the help of bodyism colon three. Uh, now those first two levels have started with three. The issue here is that the structure is not logical. It doesn't follow a hierarchical structure. Uh, there's no H1 on the page, and the levels just aren't consecutive. The issue here is that the screen reader user is unable to understand how the headings relate to the content on the page. So the H1 needs to relate to the main content, subsection is an H2, sub-subsection H3, and so on. As otherwise the page can be very difficult for a screen reader user to understand and work out how things are laid out. Uh, the next issue is in relation to images. Select the graphic dialog. List one, list view. MR Porter. One of eighteen. New arrivals. The sport issue. Driving shoes. As you heard there, you have such things as driving shoes, sport. These are actually decorative images, uh, which don't make a lot of sense to a screen reader user. Uh, decorative images should be given a null attribute to ensure that the user isn't affected by them. As a blind user, I am unaware of what those images are actually attempting to show me, and it just creates additional navigation on the page which isn't useful and is often confusing. Escape. Uh, the final issue is non-descriptive links. Links list dialog. Links list view W. Wish list. Shop what's new. www.reporter.com slash number. As you heard there, the link in this case, it reads as a URL. Uh, that is very confusing, both in and out of context, as it's not sure where the link will take you. All link text needs to be fully descriptive uh, to give a clear indication of where the user will be taken. Avoid URLs and such comments as click here, find out more, as the user can't really understand those out of context and can often be very tricky in context when arrowing through the page.